It's coming out in June. Catching, catching, catching a tiger. tiger. Why, why that title? Does that symbolize anything for you? Um, well, it's a lyric from my song Bully. And uh, I just liked it because it's, it's you know, baiting a bully, catching a tiger. So it, it can mean a lot of things. I think a lot of times people are trying to uh, want to know exactly what it means. It, it could be talking about me if I'm sort of a wild or elusive spirit. Uh, it could be talking about uh, a guy. In the song, it's sort of maybe sort of someone you're you're with, but yeah. it's like catching a tiger. It's sort of stop and go, and they're sort of one always one step ahead of you. Yeah. And uh, you know, so it can mean a lot of things. It could just even mean you know a goal in your life that is sort of always seems just ahead of you, but you can you can do it. It's just a challenge, right. you know. <laughs> A lot deeper than I initially thought. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's I should just simply say it's a line from the song that I just thought was cool. And then someone told me today it's the year of the tiger. I'm not sure if that's ah, true. Well, I guess but I thought that was an extra bonus. It yeah. It features some of the songs from your EP yes. and some other songs. Mm -hmm. um, what, what can we expect from them? Are they in a similar vein or are there any surprises at the record? Well, I think initially it was more, um, you know, the singles off the album mm -hmm. I recorded in. Nashville last year, and and they have a bit more of that texture to them, where you know they were made to hopefully get on the radio. Yeah, um, yeah. But the great thing is, I also worked with this producer Bill Reynolds, and uh, you know we sort of worked in a way where where there wasn't really a goal in mind. We were just sort of being creative and having fun, and um, and he's you know a genius yeah. musician and producer, so um, and writer. We wrote some songs together, and. Uh, and so I think the great thing about the album is you can expect, you know, sort of the, the catchy tunes and the yeah. big the big tunes, but then also some that are a bit, um, you know, Americana, a bit of indie, uh, uh, you know, just sort of a lot a lot of different topics covered, you know, relationships, sort of soul searching, kind of uh, longing, and you know, a lot of a lot of things that everyone can relate to. So uh, I think there's a bit of everything yeah. in there. But I think hopefully it feels like one big album because I wanted it to feel like a collection and not just a bunch of random things. Sure. So. You grew up in Rock Island. Illinois. Illinois. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then moved to LA. Yeah. Was that, um, how did you make that decision? It seemed quite a brave decision well, to move to LA. It wasn't quite that straight on. I grew up in Rock Island, Illinois, which is about three hours west of Chicago on the Mississippi River by Iowa. Yeah. And uh, it's like the Midwest. It's like a city of like 35, 40,000 people, but you know, near other towns, but also you didn't have to go far to get to the country. Mm. Um, and uh, so grew up there, always loved to sing, started writing songs when I was a teenager and teaching myself guitar sort of from about 10 to 15. I sort of learned a chord a year. Yeah. <laughs> and then I sort of got more serious and started learning more chords. And you know, I'm still am learning new chords. Um, but yeah, I started writing music and uh, wasn't very involved in the music programs in my high school. I was sort of a bit of a, didn't want to be part of any club that would yeah. have me as a member kind of rebel kind of personality when I was a teenager. So, uh, so but I wrote songs for myself and I play them at coffee shops and uh, I went to college for two years in Colorado. I went to Colorado State and um, decided to go to Colorado because I like to ski and I like the outdoors and it's a beautiful state, so I thought, oh, you know, I'll, I'll get out of Rock Island for a while. I was ready to get out of there and um, moved to Colorado, did a little college, but didn't really know what my other skills were and had a bit of trouble, like, I did all right in my classes, but I didn't really know, like, what career I was trying to do, so, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, but, so, compared to my, you know, um, compared to my, uh, uh, you know, roommates and friends and stuff, uh, I, I had less of an idea of what I wanted to do other than music. So uh, I did a semester of college in Paris and was playing a lot there. And because of my time in Colorado and Paris playing and getting gigs at bars and open mics, I sort of started to see that there was this reaction that people yeah. really kind of really liked what I was doing. And I was making a little bit of money and um, had gotten a song in a... Uh, in a, like a film and on a TV show and was making a little bit of money off that and figured, you know, I'm 20, I'm going to move to Los Angeles and yeah. ask my parents if they'd be willing to, um, uh, if they'd be willing to, you know, help me out for a year or so and while I got on my that. feet. Yeah, I'm the youngest of four, so. Oh, okay. And they always really believed in my skills as a singer and That's stuff. That's nice, isn't it? 
Yeah, no, it's good. I think if I'd been the oldest, they would have been like, no, you got to get like a doctorate, you know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'd always been pretty strong-willed, and, but responsible uh, and pretty efficient. You know, I always had a mind of my own and was doing things, and yeah. you know. So I think they they trusted me, and uh, you know, I wasn't so wild that they thought I'd go become like a stripper or something, you know, because <laughs> so, some people do, they go out there and become like dr- addicted to drugs yeah. and are strippers well, and stuff, clearly. which, you know, all more power to them, that's the thing. What do you do when you're not performing in your days? Well, you know, I, I intend to like go see things, but I usually just sleep until I have to go somewhere, and then I'm just inside wherever I'm going to, and on my days off, I just usually stay inside. I know that sounds, I mean, I'll go for a walk. But I'm usually like catching up on emails, like sleeping, catching up on like TV shows, just like on my computer, just turning my brain off. Totally chilling, like not wanting to like even brush my teeth. Like it just like I'll wake up and I'm just like I'm not gonna like do I'm not even gonna get out of my pajamas. I'm just gonna do wow. nothing. Oh gosh. Well I don't do it often, so um But yeah, like hopefully like you know be, su- be successful, you know, do well, sell albums, get to travel and tour and play lots of shows, but also be able to sort of enjoy the places I'm traveling to. And then, you know, as I go along, you know, be able to also have another side to me that's just me that gets to hang out at my yeah. house and be a normal, you know, citizen in the town I choose to live in and, um, you know, have, have moments of, like, activity and then some moments of, uh, like, gardening and yeah, working on cooking and you know, uh, spending time with my family and my friends, and, but right now I'm like willing, I'm like, I will go every single day until I drop if I have to, but like, in the distance, I know, like, I am going to get to like sit yeah. by a pool with like a drink in my hand at some well, point. Like that's <laughs> yeah. 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 Everyone's looking forward to hearing that. Yeah, I'm um, excited for it to come out. What are your What are your hopes for the future, for the next few years? Oh. You, I said you said you think you're doing okay. Yeah. Do you have any kind of future ambitions for that? I do. I, I on sort of surface level, I hope my album does well. Uh, you know, critically, I hope people love it and it touches them, yeah. touches their hearts, which is the goal. You know, to make people feel. And, um, you know, I hope that I can sell enough to sort of pay back what I've spent. <laughs> okay, right. And, and, then, and then some. You know, it'd be nice yeah. to feel like I was, I was doing well and could maybe look towards, like, buying a house at some point in the next few years. That would be awesome. Um, I mean, back in, uh, yeah, yeah, but you know, then the better idea, maybe I'll get one in London. Yeah, get one in London. I do have an English boyfriend, so maybe, you know, yeah. you never know. It was great to meet you and good yeah. talking to you. You too. Good luck for the show tonight. Thank you. All right. All right.